Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Outland in what I hope is going to be the finale. And I apologize if you can hear my fan in the background. It's really hot and humid here today, and I just I couldn't do this without this. Not really, but it just it, it it's it it's taking the edge off today because it's just really hot and humid. It's been hot and humid pretty much all week, and it's just awful. Such is the uh, the trials and tribulations of living in uh, Atlantic Canada. Uh, <laughs> more accurately, living on basically the shore of one of the most iconic rivers in all of Canada. Hey, what, what's over here? Shit to explore. Alrighty. All kinds of good stuff. I'm gonna break that dude, because I don't like his face. Whoop, there we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> so can I just make that jump? No, not in my life. I can make this jump though, right? Of course I can. Alrighty. Up and over. I'm not sure how big the, like, this area is, the Temple of Eternity. I just know that this is definitely the final area. Ow. Oh, wait, I wanted, I wanted to do that. I wanted to stomp on him. Oh, I didn't realize he could change color. Cool. I'm glad they didn't introduce that earlier. Whack. <clears throat> now, hey, can I go up this way? I can indeed. I'm going to say there's a treasure up here. Uh, not- a well, yeah, there's a treasure. Bam. I have unlocked yet another cool piece of Outland concept art. Yay! The only bit of concept art I've ever actually been really interested in was, uh, the Hyrule Historia. Um, I just- it was just a really neat idea. Like, I liked- I wanted to read it. And it's- I mean, I'm sure, like- billions have already read it. I'm not a source of new information, basically. Uh, but what it's more of a design document rather than an actual book. And it's a really neat I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you with that. <laughs> I'm just gonna tag those guys with the smite and hope to god I can find something to return all my energy to me. Um Alright, what happens if I go up here? Nothing. I go back and there's nothing else over there as well. Okay. Going up. <clears throat> Going up again. I want to see what's over this way. Alright, fight me. Ow. Alright, yeah. He's electric. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, wait. I hit the wrong one. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted the laser. I wanted the Kamehameha. Come on. Quit being... There you go. I like how... I like the energy chains. Okay, so every time the screen pulses, they change energy. I want to see what's, what's actually over this way. It looks like something cool. Oh, another uh, treasure... Vase? I'm not exactly sure what they are. I know that there's a stat that tracks them, I just don't know what to call them. Uh, I think they're just called, like, money jars or treasure jars. I, it, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going back up again. <clears throat> I did not go back, or at least I don't think I've gone back to go get that uh, that energy upgrade in the Holy uh, Mountain. Uh, I still have it written down here right beside me on my little timesheet. I'm just going to kill this guy real quick. And get out of here. Alright, I'm not going to bother fighting these dudes, I'm just going to run past. Well, I, I kind of have to fight you, don't I? Yeah, you're not going to let me pass. There we go. Alrighty, now what do we got going on around? Oh, hello. Am I supposed to go upward? Or am I supposed to go downward? I want to go up. Oh, wrong button. Whee! There we go. It just looked like something would be up here. It looked like there was the potential for something to be up here. There we go. And there is another treasure chest, even though, again, I probably won't be needing it because I'm at the final level. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to stomp my way down here. Bam! Hello, everything! Hello, destruction! And more treasure. Excellent. It's exactly what I signed up for. I'm not gonna lie, kinda looks like this wall over there. Like, the entirety of that wall that I'm looking at can be destroyed. You get out of here. There we go. 
and even more treasure. Well, that was a... <laughs> that worked out a lot better for me than I thought it would. There we go. Now, what do we have up this way? Oh, well, first I want to hit this checkpoint, because I don't really want to start this all over again. Uh, I want to go back up and around. Ha-ha! Oh, I want to go over this way. Okay. Bring it on, big guy. Ow. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him be. I'm just, I'm not going anywhere near that guy. I'll go up and over him. Ah, fuck. I, I hit all the wrong buttons. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons right now, everybody. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so we got some of my health back. That's good. Oh, shit. <laughs> he changed colors on me, and I wasn't prepared for it. Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to go. There's an energy upgrade underneath me. Cool, let's go get that. First, let's hit that dude with smite. Ow, I hit the wrong button. Oh, shit, I didn't realize... Okay, I didn't realize I was still in the range of that cannon. I thought I was underneath it. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize the hero was this tall. Or was that tall, rather. Alright, <clears throat> so let's try that again. Because there's an energy upgrade that I can get around here somewhere. Come on, Mirrodon. Come at me, big guy. Oh god, I wasn't facing the right direction. Whap, there we go. <clears throat> get out of here, you weird-ass bug monster. You too. Alright, so... Ow. Oh, I thought I was underneath that. Damn it. Down you go. Get out of here. Alrighty. Whee! I didn't mean to go back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me that. Keeper of the energy. The keeper of energy. Not keeper of the energy. Just keeper of energy. Whoosh! <clears throat> Excuse me. Bam, hit you with smite. I cannot make I cannot jump over him like that. Eh. I'm gonna tag you with smite again. There we go, now you're dead. Alrighty. So I wanna go back up here just to get the uh ow. Hey buddy! What a big guy oh god, you you moved. Come here, you look at me. Come get some. There we go. All right, now we can now we can continue. So apparently this is not going to be the finale because I've wasted too much time dicking around finding all the stuff around here. <clears throat> Unless the sisters are like right in here. Eternity, towers of eternity. And that other place I was in was called the Shores of Time. <clears throat> yeah, no, okay, this definitely isn't the finale. I lied to you, everybody. I'm I apologize. I apologize wholeheartedly. Oh, okay, you got stuck in the wall. Great. Boink. Oh, I'm supposed to go up this way. I don't want to go up this way. Never mind. I'm going back down. Ow. Eh, get out of here. Down you go, you giant armadillo-looking bastard. Okay. All right. That actually worked out pretty well for me. Sweet. <laughs> uh, if I may quote the A-Team, I love it when a plan comes together. That actually wasn't my plan. I didn't plan on that happening. Or I didn't plan on that happening at all. It just kind of did. Now, how would I get over there? Up and around. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Not really going to worry about it, because I just want to get through this game as fast as possible. I want to move on to a new game that I got to... Uh... Last week? Two weeks ago. I don't remember what it is. Um, it was on free. Or it was free on Steam uh, for a little bit. Uh, and I've always liked the look of it. I just never like had the money for it because I don't put a lot of money in Steam. 
if uh, <clears throat> you take a look at my Steam library, you'll notice it's quite bare. Because I just don't have any disposable money to throw at Steam. So, when everybody is like... When everybody whines and complains about like, Ah, the Steam Summer Sale has stolen all of my money! I, I'm not one of those people, because I don't have money for Steam to steal from me. <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright, how are we doing this? Ow. Very- ow. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> I was the wrong energy color. <laughs> Whatever, I got through it. It wasn't pretty, but I did it. Get back here, you wizard fuck. Get out of here. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to go up? I would like to get up there, but I don't think... Oh, I know. I get up there by opening this... Right. Get out of here. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> All the way down. Slide kick that little spider monster. I'm also... I uh, heard recently that Dauntless is getting another closed beta. Uh, I think they said at the start of August or around... Like, it's coming up really quick and I hope I get in because one of my friends got into it. And he said it was pretty cool. Ow. I <laughs> wasn't thinking. Was not thinking. Uh, but yeah, one of my friends got into the, uh, one of the, Daunt or got into the Dauntless closed beta, or closed alpha, rather. And he said it was pretty, uh, pretty good time. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all he could have said about it, because he very much a non-disclosure agreement. So the running joke was that, like, hey, buddy, what you playing? Nothing! I am not playing anything! <laughs> But yeah, it was a uh, pretty cool. Uh, it sounded pretty cool from what I understood of it. <clears throat> it's basically just uh, Monster Hunter without being Monster Hunter. A lot of the enemies steal. Well, I say steal, but a lot of the enemies draw inspiration from other monsters in the game. Like one, I remember he's talking about. Basically, it was just like a fiery version of the Rajang, uh, where the Rajang is like a bull gorilla. It's one of the stronger monsters in the series. Like, just like pound for pound, he does the most damage of anything that isn't an Elder Dragon, but he's also super, super, super squishy. Like, <clears throat> up until you realize how to fight him, he's a monster, but then once you figure it out, he's a walk in the park. Spoilers, slashing weapons, pretty much anywheres. You hit him with a slashing weapon, and you do a ton of damage. Because he's a brute, but... He's also super, super weak. If you know what you're doing. So, if you have a suit of armor that has something like a weakness exploit, you hit him anywheres with a weapon that doesn't deal blunt damage, or with a non-blunt weapon, and you'll kill him. In, like, infinitely shorter amount of time than you probably should be able to. Okay, so this is probably going to kill me. I'm just going to hit the checkpoint again real quick. Alright, come here. Fuck. I didn't hit it quick enough. Yep. <clears throat> oh, wait, I don't have to go all the way back, right? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm probably gonna die on my way through here. Yep, jump right into it. Sweet. <laughs> I'm good at this game, everybody, I swear. No, I'm not. I'm terrible. <clears throat> okay. Round two. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got this. I got this. Ow. Also, uh, something else that I'm really excited for is, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, <clears throat> at EVO, they announced, uh, a couple new characters to play, um, and they announced Trunks, but Trunks has been announced for a while, like, basically the last, uh, the last major, uh, oh, what's the one I'm looking for? The last major, uh, Reveal of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Um, they announced uh, Trunks. They said he was coming. They just didn't show anything about him. And then uh, at Evo uh, over the weekend or so, 
it, they announced two new characters coming to the game. Piccolo and Krillin. So I'm excited for that. Krillin's always been one of my favorite characters in any Dragon Ball game. Krillin is the man. Uh, apparently, something else that I, or I heard about him. Uh, Krillin's uh, Destructo Disc, completely undodgeable. Or completely un... Uh, or you can't guard against it. There we go. That's, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, Krillin's Destructo Disc. You can't guard it. Um, <laughs> and apparently, oh god, oh god. Apparently, Frieza has an homage to that, where, like, Frieza can throw out a Destructo Disc, and it can come back and hurt him. Which I'm pretty, which is how he died in the, the, the show in the anime. But yeah, that's, that's something I'm excited for. Uh, another game that I heard, saw at Evo was, uh, reminded me a lot of, uh, Gotcha Force. It was called, uh, Gundam Versus. Gundam Versus looks sweet as hell, and I want to play it. Like, Gotcha Force is Gotcha Force is my favorite game of all time, like, or one of my most favorite games. I everything that Gotcha Force does, I adore. I'm also going not the right direction. Okay. Uh, basically, the way uh, I'm not gonna bog you down with too many details, but essentially, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm just gonna hit this real quick. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, or not Dragon Ball Fight, uh, Gundam, Gundam versus, uh, just plays out like you've got a team of, <clears throat> it's a two-on-two, -two, like arena brawler, where the different robots that or the different mechs, shit, the different mechs that you use have like a different cost associated with them. Your team has a thousand points in total, uh, <clears throat> and the cost of your um, Gundam dictates basically how many times you can respawn with them because you have each team has a thousand points the stronger robots cost up to 500 points um but both you and your ally draw from this like pool of a uh, this this 1000 point pool so let's say you play i don't know let's say big zam's in the game big zam costs 500 points if Big Zam goes down even once, you've lost half of your team's allotted lives. Uh, some of the more basic, or the more basic units have, uh, five health, or take 200 points, so you can respawn up to five times if you both take, uh, 200 point robot, but there's a lot of, uh, mechanics in place to keep people from, like, if you play, like, a really, again, I'll just use Big Zam, because Big Zam's the only robot I know in that entire series. But if you play Big Zam and don't do anything for the round, next round, your pilot will say something along the lines of having some difficulty and your robot will only spawn with, like, half health in the next round. Um, so it's to, uh... It's to stop people from just, uh... Like, I've got Big Zam, I don't want him to get hurt, so I'm gonna just hang out in the sidelines and hope to God my teammate can carry, my, hope to God that my teammate can win, because if you don't do any, oh shit, I didn't realize, okay, I didn't realize we were bringing this guy back, but yeah, if you don't do anything, oh yeah, I gotta stab him in the shin, right, 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 all right, <clears throat> ow, I didn't realize it was gonna hurt, Oh, shit. I missed my time. I thought it was going to switch a little bit faster than that. Right in the shin! Alrighty. So I'm going to kill this guy, and then I'll call it an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will catch you on the next episode. Ow, shit. <laughs> Never mind, I'll just call it right here. Uh, <clears throat> when we come back, uh, I will be past that fellow. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode nearly as much as I did. And I honestly thought this place was a little bit shorter than it was, but... I was wrong, clearly. Uh, no skin off my nose, though, because I'm used to being wrong. But I'm going to go. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. It's been a lot of fun. Bye.